some failure modes and how to recover. Let's talk about ways in which Onion Browser and the mountain of software and internet network architecture behind it can let you down. Yes, it does happen. Sometimes your network just doesn't have the performance and responsiveness it requires. Sometimes your network is under heavy surveillance. Sometimes the Tor network is under direct attack by bad actors. Let's look at a few of the failures you may experience and see what we can do to mitigate at least some of the impacts. We regret that this list is not complete. On startup. What if I have no network connection of any kind and I don't realize it? What if my network connection is very slow? What if Tor is blocked in my country? First, if you know via friends or trusted information sources that Tor is blocked in your country, you'll need to configure access via a bridge on your very first startup. Revisit the prior discussion on how to properly configure Tor bridge access. Please remember, bridges tend to degrade the user experience in a number of ways. They are a last resort. If you are not connected to a local or wide area network and you don't realize it, or if your connection is very poor, low bandwidth, or if Tor is locked in your country, Onion Browser won't be able to start. Unfortunately, there is no safe way to automatically distinguish between these different conditions. First, try to verify that the device itself has a connection, or move to another location and network. Please remember, Tor can be slow to start up, especially on your first use, even under the best circumstances, because it has to discover its network of nodes, at least partly, before it can build circuits. This does take a little patience. On restart. What if Tor fails to start or restart properly within Onion Browser? Can this happen, for example, when switching apps? If Tor fails on start restart, Onion Browser assumes that it's because the Tor nodes available for your location are blocked. Onion Browser will urge you to configure bridges. You won't be able to proceed though. You actually need to stop Onion Browser, switch to another app, or kill the app by swiping it out of iOS app cards overview and then start again. If you experience a lot of this type of failure, you may want to consider the Onion Browser setting that allows you to remember tabs, also called Startup in Last State. That's available using Settings, Tab Security, Remember Tabs. After a heavy use session, there's a lot going on between Onion Browser and sometimes after a lot of use, or maybe due to a lot of tabs open for a long time, Onion Browser will run out of working memory on the device. In this case, iOS will probably kill the app by itself, though you might have to swipe it away from the app card overview under certain circumstances. When you start it again, it will be a fresh start. This is another good time to remember, if your situation allows it, to use the Remember Tabs feature. Failure on the regular use. You might experience using Onion Browser in a normal way seemingly fine, and then when tapping a link or visiting a new site, nothing seems to happen. It's hard to know if the link or the site is the problem, or if Onion Browser or Tor is the problem. You can check if Tor is still running by creating a new tab and visiting, for example, DuckDuckGo.com. If Tor really has failed, you should leave the app and enter back after a few seconds. That is, switch to another app, then return. That action should restart Tor. If that fails to help, go to iOS App Cards Overview, swipe away Onion Browser, and start it again. If the new tab opening to DuckDuckGo.com does work, then Tor is still operating and that's a good indicator that the link or website you visited contains some JavaScript and Onion Browser thinks is unsafe. Lastly, failure can happen when the security level currently set for the page is denying the website from taking certain actions. Loading media is one such action, though not every time. 
if you are sure leaking your browsing information to somebody listening on your connection isn't a problem, you might want to lower the security level to bronze, at least for that site. What are these circuits you talk about? The circuit is the path your communications take through the Tor network, whose nodes exist in many countries in the world. Normally, you don't need to take specific care regarding the circuit, because that's Tor's business. However, depending on the exit node Tor has chosen, you might see a website localized wrongly, or a website that mistakes you for a hostile due to your country of origin, which Tor has set. In those cases, you can request an circuit. It's easy, right there on the circuit display. The circuit display could also hint to the reason of a slow connection. If you are routed around the world, that might be the problem. However, Tor typically tries to avoid these situations automatically and chooses circuits with hubs near you. Custom Site Settings now that WIP introduced security levels in the new Onion browser, there's much less need to store custom settings for individual websites. That's a good thing because these settings are hard to remember once customized. For example, did you remove all restrictions from a website because you were once on a less restricted network? Well, when you're back on your surveil network, it's hard to remember that you customized just that one site. That can lead to an unplanned exposure. We hope you like the new security levels mechanism. It's much easier to monitor how much risk you are exposed to using this mechanism. Enjoy it!